guys, I'm Simon Hayes from Carlson Gracie Team London. I'm going to run through a flexibility drill that I like to do three or four times a week to try and uh, stop myself getting injured and try and keep myself flexible for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Make sure that before you try this drill that you've warmed up properly. Um, as a rule of thumb, I wouldn't do any stretching whatsoever unless you've got a sweat on. Okay, so right leg out up front, rear foot at right angles, back straight. Hips in. While we're here, one big deep breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Leave your feet exactly where they are. Switch 180 degrees. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Stretching our hip flexors and our groins. Now, switching 180 degrees, this time take your rear heel off the floor. In through the mouth, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Put your chest down and you'll feel that in your front hamstrings. Right hand, which is closest to your little toe, around the front of your toes, under your leg, and head down. Straighten your front leg so that your knee is locked out. Put your head down towards your knee. Switch 180 degrees, rear heel off the floor, stretching your hip flexor and your groin, front hip flexor, chest down, hand around the front of your toes, under your leg, head down, straighten your front leg, lock your knee out, head down towards your knee, Leave your feet where they are, face the middle, walk around from one foot to the other in a semicircle with your hands, making sure that every semicircle is a couple of inches wider in diameter so you're actually stretching your upper body as well, your lats and your spine. Hold your right ankle, make sure your knee's locked out, head down to your knee. Walk around to the other foot. Hold your ankle, lock your knee out, in, out. Put your fingers facing the wall behind you and walk your hands forward so your forearms are facing the middle. Now you're going to get a nice stretch in your fingers, which have been damaged by sparring with the gi all the time, your wrists, which have been wrist locked, and your elbows, which have been armbarred. And now just roll onto your toes, back onto your heels. Toes, heels, get a nice stretch, get rid of all of the lactic acid out of your arms. And now, stand up, feet where they are, hands in the small of your back. Look at the wall behind you. Dropping down on the left side, support your body weight with your hands if you need to. Make sure that on your supporting leg, your heel is on the floor. And your foot is in the same position as if you were being figure four foot locked to stretch those ligaments that get damaged from footlocks and change and change use your hands if you need to if you're uncomfortable what's important is that you're supporting Achilles which is there your heel is on the floor not like that like that and change and change now put your toe in the air on your straight leg and roll the ball joint over in your hips so that all of the ligaments that attach your leg to your body Get stretched for guard work. Open guard work, get a heaver guard. Okay, you need to stretch like this. Change. And roll it over. Roll it over. And now figure four foot lock position again. Figure four foot lock position again. Okay, good guys. Sit down. Get your fingers. Dig them into the ligaments behind your knees. Really work those ligaments, okay? Press your fingers in hard. Stimulate some blood flow into the ligaments. So if you've got any microscopic tears in them, yeah. you're going to stimulate some blood to get in there and perhaps start the healing process around the sides as well. Okay, from here, put your heels off the floor and breathe. Relax. Now we're going to go in and as we breathe out, put your chin down towards your knees. Right leg up. 
to your thigh, deep breath in. As you breathe out, chin down to the front. Relax. Take this foot, put it behind your butt. So you're stretching your groin again, your hip flexors, deep breath in. As you breathe out, down to the front. Relax. This is the hard one. Down to the middle. To get the kids in your kids' class to do this, their chins will be on the floor. And down to the rear knee, even harder. And roll backwards and stretch your front quad on your bent leg. And change. Deep breath in. Relax. Take this foot, put it behind your butt. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, down. Relax. Chin down to the middle. Down to the rear knee. Both feet out in front. Right leg across. That's my right leg. This is my left arm. The left arm across my body. Back into my right knee. Press with your elbow to get twist in your spine. And look over your right shoulder. Deep breath in. Now, change legs. Right leg. Left leg, right arm, press with your elbow into your knee, look over your left shoulder, and breathe. Butterfly stretch, the butterfly guard. Wobble your knees up and down, good posture, chin up, shoulders back, breathe. Hold your ankles, press your elbows down into your knees. Good posture. Feet as wide as you can apart. Massage from your groin down to your knees. Don't mess about. Do it nice and hard and stimulate some blood to flow into your groin, into your hamstrings and into your quads before you stretch. Good. A bit wider. Touching your toes. Two, three, four, five, six. Over the top. Ear down to your knee. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Massage. A bit wider. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, walk your hands as far forward as you can. Don't try and put your head on the mat. Try and walk your hands forward. And if, as a byproduct of you stretching your hands as far forward as they'll go, your chin goes on the mat, then you're doing a great job. Turn onto your front, so we're going to stretch the spine the other way now. Hands by your shoulders, press up position. Keep your hips on the floor like you're sprawling. As you breathe in through your nose, press up, look at the ceiling. Up. And out and down. Left shoulder, up. And out and down. Right shoulder, up. And out and down. Middle, up. And out and down. Hold your shins. Press with your quads so that your chin comes up off the floor. Up. And relax. Almost finished now, guys. If you want to get good at jiu-jitsu, you've got to get flexible. Feet by your butts, hands behind your shoulders, and press up into a bridge. Good. And now, last but not least, possibly the most important stretch you can do for jiu-jitsu, your neck muscles. Once you're here, clasp your hands together and try and put them on the floor. And then roll onto one knee, across your shoulders, onto the other knee. Okay, so, that's my stretching routine from Castle Gracie London, guys. I hope you can incorporate it into your training. Stretching is very, very important and it's certainly helping me a lot from staying uninjured. Okay, thanks a lot guys.